Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing well and today we are back on Cubecraft Skyblock. This is episode 51 and today we're going to be doing a huge like building episode make, like making our island look like very good and yeah like just really really like building and cleaning up like all of this. So yeah, today's gonna be like a huge building episode, uh, but before we get into building, uh, a couple of things have happened since last episode. Last Tuesday, the 1.17 uh, Caves and Cliffs update came out. It didn't do much for Skyblock or Cubecraft in general, just because it's 1.17 and Cubecraft is still like 1.10 or 1.8, I think. But what it did do is change the textures, and one of the textures that were changed in 1.17 were ores, and well, now all of the iron, gold, lapis, coal, uh, emeralds, and diamond ores have changed like their textures. It's definitely gonna take me a while to get used to all these new textures. I don't know if I like them or not. I'm just so used to the old textures. Another really exciting thing that happened in Skyblock is if we go to the Skyblock hub, as you can see over at the end portal, there is finally a gatekeeper here. This portal has been empty forever and finally <laughs> there is a gatekeeper that has appeared and it's it says coming soon if you click on him uh, it just says the portal is coming soon but we have been waiting for the end update for a while now and it's finally coming soon which means it's coming in the next month yeah I'm just so excited there's gonna be a bunch of new content that I'm gonna be able to put out and it's like new quests everything it's just gonna be so cool other than that I haven't really done much in between episodes I've been afk at our creeper dropper a lot getting more money I took out all of the pig spawners from uh, this dropper the pig dropper from both sides just because it was getting super laggy and very annoying and now i'm starting to save up creeper spawners to put in place of the pig spawners as you can tell we have 19 creeper spawners at the moment when i get like half a stack of creeper spawners i'll probably put them up there but right now 19 creeper spawners isn't really going to do much as always i've also been upgrading my armor and now we have full diamond armor protection 8 as well as fortune 8 on our pickaxe and we actually have a hundred 180 levels at the moment so i'm gonna take my diamond chest plate grab some lapis and some nether quartz and we can actually upgrade our chest plate to protection 9 so if we confirm upgrade and yeah okay it's protection 9 now that is a huge protection we have like uh ix which is nine and now we are starting to get really strong i think before the end comes out i want to get protection 10 on all of my armor and i want to get like fortune 10 on my pickaxe as well my end goal is probably to get like protection 20 on all of my armor and then like fortune 13 and maybe efficiency 7 on my pickaxe the max level enchant in cubecraft skyblock is 20 which is an insane number but yeah slowly and surely we are getting there so yeah on to the actual part of this episode uh we are gonna be doing a bunch of building i just feel like we could use a building episode like we haven't i think the last building episode we built uh the cat island which was a little while ago and this episode i want to go full out building like this area right around here needs a lot of work we have we don't even have like grass all the way to our savannah island yet so yeah we need to do a bunch of work First off though, I want to break a few things down so that our island looks a little better. One, I want to break down this spider killer, like spider grinder type thing. We've had this farm for like a while now, almost since the beginning, and I think it's time to take it down. It's just here now, not uh, being any use. So I'm going to go uh, break it down. This really shouldn't take too long. It's just some wood. And yeah, finally get rid of the spider spawner. And just like that, the spider farm has been destroyed. There were like five layers of wood on that spider farm and it took uh, me a while to destroy, but it's gone now. And in place, I put uh, a bunch of dirt just to make it look good. Over here, we still have the chests with string. Uh, it's these chests over here filled with string. Uh, I don't want to move them just because I may lose items to the void as well as it's gonna take a while so we're just gonna leave it there okay next thing to destroy is uh this desert island over here a long long time ago we blew up this island and the remains are still here i've just left it here like forever and i think now it's time to actually take it down and do something with it so yeah first off i need to like clear up all of this water and take apart like the, re the remains of this temple and then i think maybe i kind of want to make this into like a beach area because we don't 
don't really have like a sand area in our skyblock island so i think like over here could be like a beach area i think that would be really cool but first off i need to destroy all of this because it does not look good at all and the uh remains of the desert island is now gone i have gone and broken it all down and now we just have uh this flat area with sand i think what i want to do is uh buy some actually i should probably uh wait yeah i'm gonna dismantle this shop dismantle just like that oh we have floating <laughs> we have floating sand now <laughs> but yeah uh we can go and probably place down the shop right here and if we go and buy items block sand uh we can buy a few stacks of sand and i kind of want to pl uh place uh, all of this was sand. I don't know quite how I want to do this beach yet, but I know I kind of wanted to do it something like this so we can start placing some sand. Probably gonna change later when we actually make the beach, but uh, for right now, this will be good. So yeah, we'll come and do the beach later. I, I really kind of, uh, it may not even be a beach, but just like a pond with like, like a big pond with sand surrounding it. I think that'd be pretty cool. We don't really have a, a, like a pond or like a water place on this island yet. So I think that we really need one of those. Okay, yeah, so while I think of how to make this beach, uh, I kind of want to finish off this grass all the way to the savannah because uh, we really need to do that because it's been a while since we placed grass. Like 20 episodes ago, I planned on uh, moving all of this grass up to the savannah and just never did it. So I think it is time to redo it now. So let's, I guess, let's just start placing some uh, dirt down and expanding this place all the way uh, to that line right there. That was a bunch of dirt, but we have finally finished it all, and this looks a ton better if we stand back a little bit. This looks a ton better than just like a cutoff area with void. This is actually starting to look a little bit nicer now. And while I was placing all of that dirt, I was thinking about like the beach over there and what to do here because this is just a flat place now. Like over here we have a flat place, but this is like our flower field and are like ore place so this isn't really just flat it has stuff on it this over here is just completely flat and so there was a couple things i'm thinking one is i don't actually think i'm gonna make this a beach i think i'm just gonna make it like its own sand biome like a desert biome because we don't have one of those on our island this is the only place that we have sand so i think like a whole sand like desert biome would be, would be cool because we definitely cannot leave it just as a flat field that does not look good so i think what i'm gonna do is like break a bunch of this and make like a circle for a pond and i think that's would look a little bit better i think yeah that, that would probably make it much better i'll probably break some of this as well and make it all desert like sand so yeah i guess uh first off we gotta break off all of this to make like a big lake so i guess let's get started on that <laughs> Okay, so I built like this uh, lake thing here and I'm just putting in the rest of the water. I think this looks pretty good. Uh, once we get like things around it, it should look a little better. Uh, but yeah, now the water is all in. And now we have ourselves a lake. I, yeah, I need to do some stuff to make it look a little better. But overall, I think it looks... Uh, no, it doesn't look like too bad. So yeah, now that we have the pond, I think now we can actually start like making the place around it look a little better. I think in the background over there, I want to make some hills. But in the foreground, like right around here, I think we can put some trees. This skyblock has really made me hate cutting down trees. But I think if we put a couple of... Of oak trees like over here and over here I don't think it would look too bad so yeah let me go and plant down a couple of these trees I think uh, how long yeah they take only a minute to grow so it will just wait for these to grow and see how it turns out so yeah I think just like that the trees have grown and I think that makes it look uh, even good as well that we still have a couple trees growing over there I think here if I want to go and buy something uh, let's take this shop here and dismantle it if we place the shop like right here maybe yeah right there I want to buy something 
I haven't really talked about this much, but I, uh, like, two months ago, I bought the Skyblock rank in Cubecraft, and it gives you things like, uh, 10% boost on crops and generators. It gives me more profile slots so that I can visit your guys' islands. And a bunch of other cool things. If you play Skyblock a lot, I'd, I'd recommend buying it. It really helps out around the island. But one thing, like, cosmetic it gives you is furniture, and I don't really like furniture type stuff in like minecraft i just like normal minecraft textures but there is a bench and it costs 30 coins and i kind of just want to buy one this bench actually looks very very cool uh so maybe if we place it like right here we can just have like a bench on the river looking towards the lake i think that would look pretty cool uh we can sit in it as well and yeah this we, we're just sitting in our little uh, on our little bench uh, facing the lake. Uh, we can probably even go and make some like little bit of a path over here. Uh, that would look pretty cool as well. Maybe something like that. We may want to put like some gravel and coarse dirt around as well. Uh, but I think something like that would look good. Yeah, I think honestly like this little path here towards the uh, lake I think looks pretty good. So yeah, this is turning out better than I expected. I, I really like how this looks so far. The background uh, right here kind of looks empty. So I'm actually gonna buy some more dirt. There's a lot of dirt buying <laughs> in this episode, but let's buy some more dirt. And I kind of want to make like small hills like in the background. Even just like one block high raises type thing would just make it look not so flat okay so i added like two hills right here one pretty small one a little bigger i'm thinking maybe we could even add like some savannah trees in the background here because this is the savannah biome so maybe we'll do that uh i'll it, it the savannah trees take like a day and a half to grow so we won't really see them uh this episode but i guess we can uh plant some of them just around here and yeah uh, once this grass grows i think it's gonna look a lot better okay another small thing I wanted to do was make a little dock on this pond because docks are epic. Yeah, maybe just something like this and then we can add a couple of fence gates or fence posts right here. Uh, just so it looks supported next on the list. I think we have to tackle this desert. Um, I've really just been thinking about it. I don't, yeah, it's, it's kind of, I think we'll just make like a small little desert like biome. So I guess uh, we can go do that. Uh, this shouldn't really take too long. It doesn't need to be that big, but just something like over here needs to happen because not much has happened here for a while. There's still like a huge, just open space right here behind all my farms. I think we can just leave it like that as well, because from this angle, you don't see it whatsoever. Like the whole sugar sugarcane farm is just blocking it so i think for right now it's we're fine to leave like that area over there but yeah definitely we need to expand this desert a little bit and just like that we've expanded the sand like a bunch <laughs> like now we have like this whole sand place here and yeah i think it looks pretty cool i have some dirt here that kind of like connects the sand so it looks a little better one thing we can do is <laughs> use this cactus farm for like the first time in its life uh so that we can go and place some cactus here uh so we can just place a couple of cacti like around uh here and yeah just like now just make it look like a desert and yeah just like that there's our little desert right there okay next on the list is roads for like the longest time, we have been using these wooden uh, slabs as roads to get everywhere. Like there's a road here for a mob farm. There's a very, very small and narrow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, there's a very <laughs> small and narrow uh, road here to our island. There's like this wood place here that just doesn't look the best as well as over here. And then we have another wooden path over here. And I think this needs to change. Like this looks good here, but like over here, it just doesn't really look good that good so i think a lot of this like this stuff here that's pretty useless we can actually just put back into grass for the roads i kind of want to use bricks and andesite i think it's andesite or maybe it's granite oh yeah it's uh, never mind granite the the pinkish purple stuff the granite along with like bricks i think looks pretty cool so for that to happen we first need to buy a bunch of clay so let's uh 
get a bunch of clay. We need granite, and you can actually craft granite with nether quartz and diorite, and I think diorite is a mixture between quartz, yeah, quartz and cobblestone. So, I yeah, we have a bunch of cobblestone here, and uh, we have, we have a ton, like a ton of quartz here, so we can just take some of that. And yeah, we can actually go ahead and use our super smelter to uh, smelt up all of our clay, and while I'll wait for the clay to smelt. I will break all of these diamonds. So yeah, we send the cart going. It will smelt up all of that clay. And then we can make those bricks into brick blocks. And then we can start on the roads. I, I guess they're not really roads. They're just like paths because there's no cars. But <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just call them roads. Okay, so I think our clay is almost done smelting. But we can actually go and craft up all of this granite. Uh, just like that, we have two stacks of granite. We can probably, yeah, we can make some more. Uh, just like that, we have two and a half stacks of granite, which I think should be enough. Okay, so it should all be there. Oh, yeah, we have a bunch of bricks. Okay, so let's get all of these bricks, and we can craft them into brick blocks. And this gives us a st almost two stacks, which I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be enough. But I guess we can start with this amount. And then if it's not enough, we can always just buy more clay because it's not that expensive. And we have we got a billion dollars last uh, episode, so it shouldn't be hard at all. Okay, so I've made the first little path, and I think this looks pretty good. Like, the mixture of brick and granite looks good. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna need more uh, brick blocks. Like, we just used a stack there, and this is just the first road. So yeah, I guess let's just buy until we go bankrupt. Yeah, we've gone bankrupt, so let's go go and smelt all of this up and while that's all smelting up we can go and start working on the other paths and yeah make this uh, place look better Okay, and with a few last pieces to this path, we have finally finished all of the brick roads. I had to smelt up a lot more bricks to get this all finished, but it's finally done. I guess it kind of starts here, and it goes all the way along to here. I took out all of the wood slabs right here, and I really like how it's looking now. We have like a little intersection here. Uh, this path goes off into the desert. And this path right here goes off into our mob farm area. So yeah, I've pretty much done everything I've wanted to do on this episode. We made paths, we made a lake here that looks very, very nice. We expanded the grass, we made a desert place over there. But there's one last thing I need to do and that is take apart this sheep, uh, I guess, farm right here. We had this sheep farm for like dyes to get different uh, colors wool and since then we haven't really used it it's just been a little not useful because as you can see somehow the sheep all get out even though they're in fences so what i want to do is remove all of these fences here remove all of the sheep and as you can tell in my inventory, I have a sheep spawner, a cow spawner, and a, if we grab a pig spawner. As you can tell, there isn't really much, like, animals in our world. Like, we have some cats over there on our cat island, but other than that, uh, the only thing we have is really creepers. So I kind of want to liven this place up a little bit, other than these villagers just standing here. So what I'm thinking is we can put some spawners around the island. We can actually go and place a pig spawner here and then replace the the uh, dirt and I think if we stand back and wait a few seconds the pig should start spawning and we can do it over here with like uh, cows so yeah like uh, a sheep spawner here and then over um, maybe over here can be a cow spawner just to like liven up this place a little if it if it gets too leggy with mobs then we can obviously remove them but i think just like we we really only need one of each spawner they spawn like three or four so i think that should be good so now we just need to wait for them to spawn 
Okay, so for some reason, I guess spawners don't like spawning if there's like a block on top of them. So I guess I'm just gonna go and put the spawners in like this. It doesn't look the worst like this anyways. Like when these trees grow, they'll definitely hide them. And just like that, they have started spawning. We got a cow and a sheep and the pig should start spawning soon. And yeah, they'll just roam around. Uh, if we ever, if like they ever fall off the edge or we kill them, they'll just respawn. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, they'll definitely like spread out all over the place as well. Uh, which will be even cooler. But yeah, I think that's all the time we have for this episode. Uh, we did a bunch. We built a lot in this episode. And yeah, I guess that's all. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here. Where we are so close to 8k subs. And it would really, really, really mean the world to me if you subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, other than that, I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day. Bye!